Hi guys, and in this episode of Simplify OpenTX, we'll be backing up FR Sky OS off of this Horus and updating it to OpenTX. So let's crack on. So before we get started, we're actually going to need one of these. This is an SDHC uh, micro SD card. And the reason you'll want one of these is because the Horus doesn't ship with one and OpenTX needs an SD card. So the first thing that we'll do is take this out and then it just pops in the slot at the bottom right there. All right, so here's our SD card. It's, we, I'm using a SanDisk 32 gigabyte. And to get it in, you want the metal contacts facing up and then just slide it in the slot on the bottom. And there's a little spring uh, clip like there is on many of these devices. So now let's just power on the Horus. So as you can see up on the display, there is a little icon that, to show that the SD card is inserted. If we press the system button, we can also scroll to files and there's SD and we see logs is there. So we know we're all working. So at the moment you'll see it's not even set the time or anything like that. So it doesn't really matter because we're not gonna be using this. We're gonna be going to OpenTX. So next thing that we want to do is get this hooked up to a computer. So the next thing that we want to do is plug a USB cable into the back, which I'll just hit the button, is just behind this flap here. So we can plug that in. Allow device access, yes. And now we're in USB mode. So now what we'll do is we'll pop over to the computer screen and we can take it from there. So my computer is just word away and now the uh, Horus, I keep trying to say Tyrannus, is connected. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is go to OpenTX Companion. Um, sorry, not OpenTX Companion, the OpenTX website. And what we need to do is, if you haven't already got it, download the latest version of OpenTX Companion. So we'll go to the downloads page, OpenTX 2.3.9, which is the latest version. And what we want to do is download the SD card contents. So I don't actually have 2.3.9, I'm still on 2.3.7. So while I'm here, I'll download that as well. But if I open this first, what we find is all the transmitters on here. So we're looking for X10 Express. And then you want the latest release. So it'd be the 13th of June, 2020. So we just need to download that, we'll stick it on the desktop. And the same with, I'm gonna just use the Windows installer because I'm running Windows on the desktop. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll come back once this is finished downloading and I've installed the latest version of OpenTX. Right, so we have OpenTX Companion installed, but the first thing I'm gonna do is open up Windows File Explorer. And what you'll see is the Tyrannus, or oh, sorry, the um, Horus is connected up to the PC now, and there are two drives for it. So if you remember when we looked briefly on the Horus itself at the USB card, or the micro SD card, we only had this logs folder in it, which means this is the SD card, and this here is the actual Horus main drive itself. So what we want to do 
is we're going to back this up so that we can restore the Horus back to FROS if we need to. So just to make sure we get everything, we'll tick hidden files, which there doesn't appear to be anything hidden. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder on the desktop for the time being. just call it well you've seen what I've called it and I'm just going to copy all these files into that folder so they're, they're copying across as we do this so what we can do while we're waiting for that is this is the SD card here and this is the file that I da just downloaded from the OpenTX website so if we open this up this is the SD card contents that we need to put onto here so we can do that while we're waiting for the backup to complete right so that is our um, SD card contents copied onto the SD card so the next thing that we need to do is I'm going to head back to the desk and what we need to do now is unplug the SD card or sorry the USB cable And then we need to make sure the Horus is switched off. That's going to switch it on, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so skip that. We just want to power off and make sure that it's powered off. And now we can plug the USB back in the back. But do not switch it on this time. Just leave it off. You've heard the computer's connected. So you can see a green green light on here so what we're going to do is we can close this down now what we now need is to run the impulse RC driver fixer and what this will do if I this if you know flight controllers this is a brilliant little tool which will find flight controllers put them in DFU mode install drivers if it hasn't got them and right now we're using that on the Horus. So this will get it all ready so we can read and write to the, um, the, the flash memory on the actual Horus itself. So we'll just let that um, finish its process. All good. So we can close this down. Ignore the Chrome warnings. That's from old school stuff from when stuff like iNav used to run on Chrome. Um, so now what we want to do is open up OpenTX Companion 2.3 that we've just downloaded or whatever the latest version is for you. Now I'm going to get a load of errors because it's going to try and pick up my um, X9D transmitter. As I say, that's on 2.3.7, so we can just ignore this for now. And the first thing that we want to do is read the firmware from the radio. So this is going to back up again the FROS so I've got a new folder I can do So what we can do is just call this FROS and the date. So that's going to read our um, firmware from the transmitter. Sorry, I'm getting an antivirus warning pop up. If you get that, just make sure you allow OpenTX to do what it needs to do. So just allow that so hopefully it will continue what I'm going to do is repeat it just because of that so we close that horse horse back up no it didn't so F R O S 2020 0705 that's better 
So if we uh, try to read again, go to that folder, we should actually see a backup now. So there we go. We've confirmed that we've backed up our FROS operating system. So the next step is to actually set up OpenTX to work with our Tyrannus, not our Tyrannus, our Horus. <laughs> um, so we have an X10, X10X Express. We want to set the, the language, we can give it a name. And then any options, I, I use no heli because I don't fly a helicopter. I use flex on the R9M. I we use Lua scripts, so that's all good. I want AETR and I'm mode two. So that's all good. So we can save or we can okay that. And actually the one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of these SD card paths. Make sure it's got rid of them. Just because we've done the SD card stuff, I don't want it overwriting anything. So the next step is to download the latest firmware. So we check for updates. We got OpenTX X10 Express with our options. 2.3.9, do you want to download it? Yes. So I'll put that in here. Actually, let's call it OpenTX. So again, I'm going to put the date on the front. So that will download the firmware. So usually what you'll get after you've completed this is it will say, do you want to write the firmware to the radio? For some reason we didn't get that. So I'll show you the other way to do it. So we can just click this gear icon up here, write firmware to radio, load, and choose the firmware from our folder, open, and then check hardware compatibility right to TX. So now that is flashing open TX to our uh, Horus. So when this all completes, we should all be on open TX. So again, this may take some time. So I'll come back when it's done. There we go. It's completely finished the update process. So we can now just close this down. Now what we need to do is disconnect the USB. So if you go to Windows, eject the, uh, the USB, and then we can unplug it from the back of the Horus. Then when we power on, welcome to OpenTX people. Bad radio data, press any key. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay. So now we need to calibrate everything. So center. center that properly. I'll sort that out again. Right, so let's do a reboot and see if we don't get that warning anymore. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. Okay, so I need to calibrate my throttle Switch a bit better. Warning but we're in. So everything is working great. So we are now on OpenTX. If we needed to go back to FROS, we can use our backup and just restore it to the, the radio and then copy those uh, files back onto the internal flash memory. But there you go. So we now have our X10 Express running on o OpenTX. So I'm gonna have a play work out some stuff and i'll be doing some videos for this on the simplify open tech series so i hope you guys found this useful 
and stay tuned for more thank you guys for watching please like subscribe notification bell all that brilliant stuff um, it really does help my channel and i appreciate it greatly thank you guys see you bye